Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to create this easy animation very easily in the app Hypaint. So I will be giving step by step instruction and everything about the tools I use, techniques. So don't skip the video anywhere and if you are new to my channel, check out all my videos and if you feel it informative, subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. In my Hypaint app, I am opening this canvas. So I am going to use the word save water. So we don't have any text option in Hypaint. So I am moving to IBS Paint text. And simply I am going to create an empty canvas, FH canvas. And I am going to type the word save water. So if you have uh, uh, any other text app, you can try this. Or you can, if you are uh, well in uh, writing, uh, if you have good handwriting in a digital level then you can draw or write on that high paint itself but i am poor in you know writing handwriting so i'm just uh, using uh, ibs paint text to create text you can even uh, try canva or any other app for creating this we are not going to you know uh, make exactly make use of this exactly but uh, this will help us so here i'm saving this as transparent png which means the background going to be empty and here just click on this plus and picture and in the gallery choose the thing that you have already saved so like this once you click on this transform it will be released so this is going to be our bottom layer. I'm going to use that as a reference. So I just switched on the create animation and keeping these say water layer as a background. I will tell that why I'm doing this. So now in a new layer, I'm going to draw the water drops one by one. Um, you know, you can either click on the layers and create a new layer and do that. Or otherwise you can uh, click on this bottom area test symbol to create new layer which means each layer is a new you uh, know uh, each layer is a short for the animation so I am going to mark where the center is going to be so when you click on the uh, mirror ruler you can find the center vertically or horizontally you can find it so this is my vertical center so just to find the center in my canvas i just uh, switched on the mic uh, mirror ruler and this is the center so from that center point i'm going to draw the water drop and like was uh, the you know uh, the water is going to be dropped from somewhere we uh, that is not visible here only the water drops are visible here it's going to be uh, uh, you know drop one by one and when the drops uh, increases it going to be the entire page is going to be filled with the water so that's the concept here so i'm just drawing the basic shape using the leaf brush then to keep it a little bit you know um uh, lively like if it is uh, like this it's going to look very plain so to make it interesting little bit i am adding the white uh, lines like this now you can feel it a little bit lively like there is a story going on here so next i am going to draw the new set of drops in the new layer which means um, one by one it is a dripping so create such a look the same thing again i'm going to use the white color to draw like this create a new layer drop add the drops here and the one drop at the bottom fell down here so it created some effects water effects like this doing the same process again again so for uh till for uh, completing all the layers with the water it's going to be same like this uh you know uh, what you have to learn from uh, this one is 
how I'm making it continuous. Like in the first layer, we had drops at some position, and in the next layer, we have drops at some other position, which means the drops is moving toward the ground to create such a meaning. So it will be moving down, down, new drops will be coming from the top. And once it reach the bottom, it's going to be pop out like this. And we will have some that water effects. Like this. As the number of water drops, as the number of layer increases, the water level is going to be increased. And we didn't use the save water text so far. I will tell that how to use. Make use of that. Like this. Then add white lines like this. Now create a new layer. Increase the water level, also increase the drops. So like this. Now you can see the uh, water level is increased further due to the continuous dripping of water. So, you know, when you create a, um, I know, the canvas in high paint, make sure you don't keep the pixel level very high because when you increase the number of pixels, which means when you go uh, more than 3000, 4000 like that, the number of layers provided by the um, app will be get reduced. And if you are making a big animation, it means you need more layers for creating more shots. So if you create a canvas with very high um, you know, pixel range and if you want to have the number of layers also very high, it's going to be very big. Um, it will going to hold the lot of space in the um, device, which means the app uh, start to slow down. So don't go for too high, also don't go for too low pixel level. Keep it in the range of 1000, 2000, maybe sometimes 3000 and don't exit that. So as you see continuously, you can understand the how I'm making it continuous. So... Create a new layer, again the same process, like this, fill with water. So the real game of adding the text gonna start after this. So once we completed drawing the water uh, uh, details, we will be seeing how to add texture to this um, layers that we have already done Like this. So we almost going to finish the basic animation details now. So we just need one more layer. And yeah, at the last layer, I'm going to fill with full blue color so here you can see when you click on the animation 
you can see like water dropping and the layer is filled with water. So now go to the save water layer which is at the first layer then select using magic wand to select the words alone by just by clicking on it using the magic wand tool then you can see when you switch off the magic wand tool uh, you know the area that you have selected the text that you have selected will be erased so keep the magic wand tool on for example so this is the layer where i have the text when i go to other layers as well the area is selected here you can see the save water area is mm, keep on selected because the magic wand tool is still on but when we just switch off the magic wand tool the area will be deselected so here are the uh, layers we have to work with so here you can see when the water level reaches the text uh, we have to start filling with the color so if i switch off the magic wand tool there is no uh, selection of that save water area here you can see so that's how it works it works differently in ibs paint text but in high paint so this is the method so select that areas and in the layer where the water level reaches the text like this fill only that areas where the water present in the text just fill that area with the color now you can see the color is not filled anything other than that text area where there is water so fill like that So this is the easy pro pro uh, technique that I'm showing. So long. <laughs> well drawing make sure where the water is. Why I'm considering it as only where the water present is because uh, we have the concept like when the water level is increasing that from the water there occurs the text save water so to create such an effect we have to make it like the uh, water only present text details only present where the water is so that's it is so move on to the next layer then here you can see the full water text is filled with red color because there is full of water and in the same text there is water only at some areas so fill those areas like this then so in the same fill with it. and for the next upcoming layers the entire text is filled with water so fill those layers with red color so now everything is ready now you can see make sure you switch off the text layer because it is visible in all layers now you can see the difference so this is how you can create animation very easily so this thing is very good i have done it really good and if you feel like it is ending very uh, fast then you can duplicate the last layer now i have duplicated once and i'm going to duplicate it one more time because I have to make that water say water more visible in the video now just go to this share option and click on this export as gif now once you save it will be available in the gallery go to high pen album and here is the animation so i hope uh, i given a good example of creating a easy animation as much as possible here so if you want to have this as a reversing one then click on these three symbol and click ping pong
so here you can see it was filled and refilled um, then if you want to have it as one shot you can choose that as one shot option but for me I want this one as a loop um, because I'm, I have to share how it looks for the tutorial level so I'm keeping this as loop but uh, based on the purpose you can choose so this is the final thing I hope you like this tutorial learned, uh, learned something new from me thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel